Hello chess lovers, I have a very impressive attacking game for you played by Wei Yi against Anne Hast. The game was played at Tata Steel Group B 2015. Wei Yi, who was playing with the white pieces, started with e4, c5 by Hast, Sicilian defense, knight f3, e6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight c6, knight c3, queen c7, bishop e3, a6 and queen f3. Recently, this line starting with queen f3 is becoming more and more popular. Knight e5, queen g3, pinning the knight and h5. If I'm not mistaken, this line was popularized by Anish Giri. White castles queenside and black is also pushing the h pawn once again. h4, kicking away the queen and unpinning the knight. And later, this pawn on h4 square can cause white some problems when organizing an attack on the king side. b5, black is starting an advancement on the queen side and at the same time preparing to develop the bishop. f4, kicking away the knight and then bishop takes c4, queen takes c4, f5, bishop b7, rook f1 and e5. In the game played by Rajabov against Anish Giri, Anish Giri in this position played rook c8. And after f takes e6, d takes e6, Rajabov went for a very interesting rook sacrifice on f7. Let's have a quick look at the game. Then Rajabov played b3, trying to lure away the queen and capture on e6. Bishop a3 check was played, king b1, queen takes c3, queen takes e6 check, king f8, rook f1 check, and white went for this exchange sacrifice and started to give a perpetual check and the game ended up in a draw. Let's go back, but in this game, after rook f1, we see e5, knight b3, at some point this knight can jump on a5 square, causing black a lot of problems, queen c7, and king b1 a prophylactic move. Always a useful move when you are castling queenside and overlooking Wei Yi's next threat. Anne has played rook c8. This is a mistake. It was better to simply develop the knight by playing knight f6. If knight d5, then knight takes d5, and of course, there is nothing wrong with black's position. This is going to be an equal battle. But instead, after king b1, we see rook c8, after which Wei Yi started a very dangerous attack, he pushed the f pawn f6, knight takes f6 and the logical continuation of that f6, rook takes f6 going for an exchange sacrifice, g takes f6, here comes the bishop, bishop b6, trying to lure away the queen and checkmate black king. For example, now queen takes b6 can't be played because of this. Queen takes d7 checkmate. That's why after bishop b6 we see queen c6 and now comes the knight, knight a5. Look at this. All white pieces were just waiting for their turn to attack. Queen e6 and knight takes b7. And in this position, Anne Hast made a fatal mistake. She played rook b8. Actually, she could prolong the game by exchanging the queens. If g takes h3, then rook b8, knight d6 check, bishop takes d6, rook takes d6. Though white has two pieces against the rook, but of course, this position is playable and black could prolong the game. But instead, after knight takes b7, we see rook b8. Here comes the knight, knight d5. Right now the threat is knight c7 check, forking the king and the queen and at the same time sacrificing the knight on b7. Rook takes b7. It turns out that already exchanging the queens is not possible because black can get checkmated. After knight c7 check, if king e7 then bishop c5 check and if d6 then rook takes d6. Now white is threatening some discovered checks and that will be a checkmate. If queen e6 then rook d8 check followed by bishop takes d6 checkmate or if queen d7 then rook e6 this is a checkmate look at this checkmate 
or if f5 then knight d5 check followed by rook d8 check and then knight f6 checkmate this is a spectacular checkmate also after king e8 knight f6 also leads to a checkmate what a checkmate let's go back after knight d5, that's why black accepted the sacrifice, but now the queen comes on c3 square, threatening checkmate from c8 square. Queen c6 blocking the c file, but white is landing another punch from the king's side. Knight takes f6 check. This time it's time to sacrifice the knight. King e7, well if queen takes f6 then queen c8 check and then bishop c5 check and again black king is getting checkmated. Let's have a quick look at this variation how black king can get checkmated. Let's go back, that's why after knight takes f6 we see king e7. Here comes another brilliant move, bishop d8 check, Wei Yi is just sacrificing his pieces one after another. By the way, playing rook takes d7 and then queen takes c6, winning the queen is not a good idea because there is this rook d1 checkmate, that's why Wei Yi found the best bishop d8 check. King e6, now if king takes d8 then queen c6, winning the queen, using the fact that the pawn is pinned. But this king e6 move allows checkmate in one. Here comes queen h3 and this is a checkmate. This was truly a spectacular game. A piece of art created by Chinese chess prodigy Wei Yi. If you enjoyed this mind-blowing attack, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. More games are coming. Good luck.